Music is softly playing And girls in the arms of their boys Join in the dances I would be dancing if I were there Timidly I am swaying The music has started me dreaming Wistfully dreaming Wistfully wishing I could be there I know all the steps but they're no use I fear Without a partner near Lonely feet while others are gliding Thursday the 26th of November and um, today we're visiting Jerome Kern in London. Now do you remember a week or so ago I said there was no copyright in titles? Well that song Lonely Feet came from a musical called Three Sisters. Um, it was um, written in 1934 by Jerome Kern and Oscar Hammerstein but not for Broadway but for the Theatre Royal Drury Lane. Um, where it starred Charlotte Greenwood and Stanley Holloway. Um, the plot of Three Sisters revolved um, around a photographer at Derby Day, and he has three daughters, and then the boyfriends go off to the First World War, but they come back. Um, the show wasn't that well received. Um, I think some of the critics objected to these American writers ad um, adopting English voices um, and weren't completely convinced. Um, but... Um, They'd had a lot of experience of working in London. They knew London very well. Um, um, Jerome Kern had taken over the Winter Garden Theatre, it seemed. His a musical Sally from Broadway came over in 1921 and then was replaced the following year by the Cabaret Girl in 1922 um, with, a, with, a, um, with um, a book by P.G. Woodhouse. Um, so even though, you know, Three Sisters didn't do that well, but... Um, they were very fond of that song, Lonely Feet, and it was used the next year, in 1935, in the movie of the 1929 musical Sweet Adeline, and you can see Irene Dunn singing that online. Anyway, back to the Winter Garden Theatre. And, um, yes, so, after Sally and the Cabaret Girl, um, um... In 1923, Woodhouse and Kern took the theatre over again with a musical called The Beauty Prize. Here's a very tatty old copy of The Beauty Prize that 
came into my possession some years ago. Um, it wasn't as successful as Sally or the Cabaret Girl, but it did um, perfectly well. Um, and I'd like to perform a song from, from it for you this morning. Um, there's a couple of references in the lyrics which might seem a bit obscure to you if I don't explain them. So, Waukezi. Waukezi were a brand of shoe. If you golf, if you are an out-of-doors man, you will approve the Waukezi Brogue. It is pliant and very comfortable. It fits perfectly and it is strong, particularly where there is most strain. An ideal combination, in fact, of sturdiness and elegance. Um, Woodhouse obviously liked the sound of the Waukezi Brogue because apparently it pops up in the inimitable Jeeves. Um, and then he also makes reference to Crucian salts. Crucian salts, obviously, were a bit of a... They were there to pep you up, and their, their tagline was, they give you that Crucian feeling, which you need to remember. Um, and apparently, um, it's tasteless in tea. Put as much in your breakfast cup as will lie on a sixpence. It's the little daily dose that does it. Um, as much as lies on a sixpence was apparently the approved dose of Crucian salts. Um, now, obviously, what year did I say we're in? We're in 1923, and it might surprise you to learn that um, dance marathons weren't just a thing of um, the Depression in the 1930s. They were, they were going, even in the early 20s, both in um, America and now in London. All those bright young things were going mad, non-stop dancing. <laughs> Once used to be quiet, not a sign of bustle or riot, everything quite peaceable and serene. Every evening, mother wrote letters, grandma knitted stockings and sweaters, father read the parish magazine. Now you find a different sort of scene since we got the non stop dancing craze. We've quite altered our domestic ways. Mother, every evening may be seen on the floor, and no one's fed the baby for a fortnight or more. We don't ever go out nowadays. Life just passes in a sort of haze. Grandma's feet are getting tender, father's burst his sock suspender since we got the non-stop dancing craze. All day long the pianola plays. Grandma's worn out fourteen pairs of stays. Father's luckily continues, though he sprained eleven sinews since we got the non-stop dancing craze. Once the noise the tiniest mouse made could be heard, but now when the housemaid breaks the china, nobody hears a sound. Grandma, in an absolute wonder, though her ankles buckling under, she'll beat all the girls for miles around. Does you good to see her cover the ground? Since we got the non-stop dancing craze, we've quite altered our domestic ways. Grandpapa, although he wheezes, knows how to step. He shakes the old Waukeses with abandon and pep. When Aunt Mary, Uncle Percy sways, Father hasn't slept for several days. We're insured for that's essential with the man from the Prudential since we got the non-stop dancing craze. When we eat, we take our meals off trays. Just a bit of shrimp and mayonnaise. There is simply no concealing. We've all got the crucian feeling since we got the non-stop dancing craze. So, 
And there, of course, at the end, we had a little bit of I Won't Dance, which I'm sure many of you are thinking, oh, yes, that comes from the 1935 movie Roberta, Fred and Ginger dancing to Jerome Kern and um, Dorothy Fields. But in fact, I Won't Dance first appeared the year before in Three Sisters in London. Um, um, and Dorothy Fields rewrote Hammerstein. But before you feel too bad for Oscar Hammerstein, he, of course, had rewritten -re Woodhouse. Woodhouse wrote the song Bill for Oh Lady Lady in 1917, but then rewrote it famously for Showboat in 1927. Um, I'd very much like to thank director and theatre historian Greg McKellen out in California and Dave Dubrowski for sharing the score of their reconstruction of Three Sisters with me. Very kind of you, gentlemen. Um, and tomorrow... We're going on a train journey. <laughs>